day 47, top trumps. We need to start by defining a bunch of um, our usual suspects into in a dictionary. So let's call our dictionary trumps. I'm going to make it blank and it's manually defined this time. So I'm going to do trumps David equals, and let's make my dictionary here. Uh, let's see what were my stats. My stats were intelligence. So let's go for my actual IQ, which is 178 there. Have it measured. I'm in Mensa. Interesting fact. <laughs> Speed. That's going to be very slow. Four. I ain't a fast runner. Guile. How sneaky am I? Hmm. Well, I've been relatively sneaky. So this, haven't I? Let's call it 80. Uh, and let's say baldness. Now, this is the one that's going to be on maximum, isn't it? Right. Okay. So let's put these for all the characters in my example. So the second one was Mr. Spock. And Mr. Spock is shockingly intelligent, quite fast. Mm, less guile, I'd say, and no baldness. Lovely header here. Okay. Monica from Friends. Intelligence. High speed, high sneakiness, baldness, definitely none. And then finally, Professor X, very intelligent, very low speed, sneakiness, very high, and baldness, well, shockingly, Professor X from the X-Men, even balder than me. He's going to go for 101 there. So I've created now and added all those things to my dictionary. And so what I need to do now is create our while true loop. I'm going to print the heading. Let's print a blank line. And let's print out their names now. So for key in prompts. Oh, can't spell key. Print key. So that should start, hopefully, this might go a bit crazy. So that works. It was just I didn't have any inputs. So it was printing out everything over and over again. Um, so then we need to ask them to print their character. Okay. Now I need to get computer to pick one of these characters as well. So I need random as well. And let's see if random.choice works on this. So I'll pick me. And nothing crashed, so hopefully the computer does have a character. Okay. Let's bring in comp should hopefully print out the key. Or is that going to print out the entire thing? That might print out the entire thing. Okay, so I think what we're going to have to do, let's see if we can cast it as a list to see if we can get something better out of it. Hmm. Okay, so random doesn't seem to work that way. Oh, what am I doing? I just need to do, I'm doing key, I'm not doing trumps at all. So if I do that, I'm going to get out the entire dictionary. It doesn't like that, but if I do trumps dot keys, that should return the list of keys. So that should work better, hopefully. And if I put them in square brackets, that should turn them into a list. Hooray! Ah, oh, no. Okay. Picking it all. What I need to do is turn that into a list, I think. Let's cast it this way. Oh, brilliant. So it was just casting it as a list to get that. So keys gives us 
ostensibly a dictionary of keys and then we can use lists and that into a list which allows random dot choice to work so now i've got both things i've got user and comp with two different characters we can move on to the actual choice now so print choose your stat intelligence speed guile and baldness level. In retrospect, that should have been all baldness level, but there we go. Um, answer equals input my user. Okay. Then I'm not gonna do any checks because I haven't asked to, but normally I would need to check that both these keys were in there, otherwise it'd be weird. So we need to go if trumps user key is greater than comp user answer. So just to remind you what's happening here, that's completely wrong. So there we go. Trumps is the dictionary that contains all our data. User is the key for who our user picked. Comp is the key for who our computer picked. And the answer then is the key value of their stats. So I'm saying here, first of all, if users one print user wins i also want to print out the stats didn't i so we do print do an f string for this Oop, no, I, that should give us i just want to put user in there don't i that's going to give us the username and then the actual stat. I'll do the same thing then for the computer. So I'm going to do that backwards. Now you might want to do an else here. Or well, if they've both got the same stat, I need to say they've drawn. And that's a draw. And then, since it's a bit of a game, let's do time.sleep two seconds before we do os.system clear to reset the screen for the next round. Okay, you pick me. Let's go for baldness level. Baldness level is not a key, so what did I actually call it? Baldness. So let's change it to baldness level. Because that's what I've asked for everywhere. Try again. So it's me versus me. Let's go for speed. Draw. Let's try again. Let's see if it gets a different character. Okay, Monica from Friends. Baldness level. I should win this. Boom. Baldness triumphs again. And so did we with our amazing code.